Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the color changing scope. You have to have a thermal scope to do it. It doesn't really work well on a normal scope. So, as always, create a new composition. Drag your clip in. And find out where the intervention is still well, not still, it doesn't have to be still, but where it has the least amount of moving, because it will be easier for you and easier for everyone else to see. I'm going to add some Twixter, so, so it's a little slower, but... do is add an adjustment layer make sure it starts when the when you start the twister because that's when you're gonna do the color changing all right so click on the rectangle tool and hold and that'll bring up this little list and drag down to ellipse tool now you want to zoom in on the scope by just scrolling in and go to about the top left corner and just hold down and get it to cover the whole scope. That was actually really good. Sometimes it might take you a few tries. Or you can just click the selection tool and drag it where you want. So go or here. Type in hue and drag that onto the adjustment layer. And then type in curves and drag that onto the adjustment layer and so for curves just click just make it more of a large curve and make it brighter and now what you want to do is you want to click colorize click the stopwatch for colorize hue here uh, go forward a little bit and put this to 2 that means it'll go around the entire wheel twice so here now what you want to do is under the mask you want to click mask path at the very beginning and keyframe that now this part might get a little repetitive if it has a lot of motion that's why I said to keep it pretty still now you're just gonna wanna just keep on going ahead and just dragging it back into the center Here, let's see what that looks like so far looks pretty good until the end so just keep on adding more and more of the positions to make it as good as you want if it if you make it really fast paced people aren't really going to notice if it's off the edge but when you slow it down and that's basically the only effect going on then it's pretty noticeable so now to get it to end just go to before it turns red again so about pink you want to click T while you have the adjustment layer selected click the opacity keyframe and when it gets to red just drag it down to zero. Let's see what that looks like so far. Alright, that actually looks really good. See, it's pretty simple, a really cool effect, and I'm pretty sure I've only seen it in my edits. I've never seen it in any other edit. But if you have any questions or comments, 
or you just want to suggest a tutorial, please be free to ask.